Hey, I'm Trace, and this is Apocalypse Week with D News. So it got us to thinking, with the end of the world coming, how other than the Mayan calendar are we going to get screwed? Because, you know, that thing's really not going to pan out, let's be honest. So we decided a big ol' asteroid is a good one. Scientists are tracking thousands of near-Earth objects at any given time, and there are a couple that kind of give us pause. The big one is Apophis. Apophis is gonna pass so close to our little blue gem here that the satellites that bring us television are gonna be on the other side of it. Think about that for a minute. The rock is only 250 meters wide, which, I mean, really, sprinters run farther than that, guys, but the thing is, that's big enough to cause quite a bit of damage. Let me put it in perspective for you. 50,000 years ago, an asteroid hit Arizona. You know how we know? Because it left this behind, a 1,200 mile wide crater. And that little guy was only 50 meters wide. Scared yet? No? Good, because we have a plan. And it has nothing to do with Bruce Willis. Although, I wouldn't mind a kiss from that Liv Tyler but only if she had the elf ears, because it's kind of hot. Sung Woo Paik, an MIT graduate student, proposed this plan. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Essentially, we outfit a rocket that can shoot five tons of powdered white paint in pellet form. The rocket flies up, goes near the asteroid, shoots it with these paintballs. Then it waits for the asteroid to spin around 180 degrees and shoots the other side of it, so it's completely covered in white. Aside from being awesome, <laughs> because it's paintball, the physics are incredibly simple. Light is made of photons, so when they hit the asteroid and bounce off the white surface instead of being absorbed by a dark surface, the asteroid's going to absorb energy and it could just nudge it a little bit off course. It doesn't take much for it to miss us. The thing is, Apophis originally had a 1 in 50 chance of hitting us and that's been downgraded to a 1 in 250,000 chance. So really, it's going to miss. However, it's going to pass so close that even in cities with the lights, you will be able to see it with the naked eye. Now, I did say there were a couple that give us pause. The other one is 140 meters wide, and it's called 2011 AG5, and it's scheduled to buzz by us in 2040. So we'll just have to wait and see what they say about that one. The thing about asteroids is they're flying around out there, being acted upon by forces from the sun and gravity from the planets and other asteroids, and even us. It's like a giant cosmic washing machine out there. Eventually, something's gonna hit us. Will we be ready? I hope so, because we're not right now. How do you think the world's gonna end? Is it gonna be an asteroid like I think, or an alien invasion? <laughs> Probes. Regardless, watch the rest of Apocalypse Week and make sure you subscribe to D News so you can get all three of our videos every day. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Trace, we'll maybe see you tomorrow. <laughs>